Hi everyone, my name is Nate Meyer. I work with the University of Minnesota Extension's Natural Resource Program teams. And I am also an absolute geek for nature writing. So as we nature in place, I thought it might be fun to periodically post a short video about some of the important nature writing authors on my bookshelf uh, and welcome your suggestions of other great nature writers and nature writing. It's a good opportunity for some armchair advanced training while we all shelter in space. Anyway, to get the ball rolling today, I wanted to start with a, um, a great author named John Burroughs. In my experience, John Burroughs doesn't really show up on a lot of nature writing bookshelves, um, and I've seldom seen his books on the shelves at bookstores. Um, I was actually lucky enough to find a whole set of John Burroughs writings once upon a time at a used bookstore in Indiana called High Brothers Books, happened to pick them up and brought them home. And then I found out after the fact that he was an incredibly prolific uh, earlier American nature writer. Um, Burroughs was born in the mid 1830s. He published his first book um, around 1870, and his final books were published posthumously in the 1920s after he passed away. The neat thing in, in my view about John Burroughs' um, work is that he tends to have a really keen eye toward natural history. A lot of his writing is based on walks around his property in the East. Um, but he um, isn't really as well known as a scientific naturalist, like somebody like Aldo Leopold, as he is a literary naturist, naturalist. So he was really well known for his writing um, and was incredibly prolific. I think he published something like 23 different books over the course of his career. He was um, an early supporter of Thoreau and Whitman um, and interacted with people like John Muir. And interestingly enough, uh, Burroughs was also a key player in what was called the War of the Naturalists early in the 20th century, um, where he really took issue with a new movement of nature writing pioneered by people like Ernest Thompson Seton around um, using more sort of first person, very humanized um, narratives of, of animal life. And, and he thought that that was poor form. Um, there was uh, some, some articles in the New York Times and other places, um, even so far as President uh, Roosevelt um, coming out and, and stepping into the argument publicly. Uh, it did die down in the early 1900s, but interestingly enough, as a person who studies nature writing, um, it's something that still happens uh, in, in nature writing today, the discussion about um, how far we can step away from scientific natural history views of, of nature in our writing toward more humanized views. Anyway, the other reason that I think Burroughs is a great place to start is that um, every year uh, or, or most years from 1920, uh, four or so to the present, the John Burroughs Association has um, awarded the John Burroughs Medal and some other uh, achievement awards for naturalists and nature writing. So in many ways, John Burroughs' um, legacy is the foundation of awarding great nature writing. So I just want to leave you um, with a quick passage from one of John's uh, posthumous books, Under the Maples. It was his second to last book published in which he has an essay called The Pleasures of a Naturalist um, that I thought was sort of a fun, um, a fun way to kick all of this off. Uh, it's a nice, a nice sort of walk into his world and, um, and what he notices on his walks and then how he translates that into the pleasure of being a naturalist. And I'll actually, um, I'll actually link below to a Google book where you can read uh, this entire essay, the pleasure, the pleasures of a naturalist. Um, if you're interested, I'll also uh, share some links um, to the John Burroughs association and some background information where you can learn a little bit more about his life. Thus the naturalist finds his pleasures everywhere.
Every solitude to him is peopled. Every morning or every evening walk yields him a harvest to eye or ear. The born naturalist is one of the most lucky men in the world. Winter or summer, rain or shine, at home or abroad, walking or writing, his pleasures are always near at hand. The great book of nature is open before him, and he has only to turn the leaves. I think it's a um, it's a really nice uh, sentiment that lends itself well to our nature and place um, in our explorations of our own backyards and neighborhoods while we shelter in place. And it's a good way to kick off um, this uh, uh, nature and place off uh, the shelf. I'm happy to share uh, new books in the coming weeks, but in the meantime, I would love to have you um, share in the comments below some of your favorite nature writers, some of your favorite nature writing. Um, if you do go out and dive into a little John Burroughs, or you have um, a favorite John Burroughs essay or a book on your shelf, share it in the comments below. Let's share some quotes. Let's get to know John Burroughs and over the course of the coming weeks, some other nature writers and great nature writing. Thanks. I hope you have a great day.